Hi there. In this video, I'll walk you through the ID merge implementation through Mixpanel SDK. This will help you understand the implementation required for a cross-platform user journey. This is Charlie. On his first visit to your website, Mixpanel SDK initializes and creates a random distinct ID for him. This ID will be used for event tracking as he browses your websites anonymously. Charlie likes the overall experience and decided to register for an account. Upon successful registrations, he's assigned a user ID. And this is when you should call mixpanel.identifyCharlie. This identify call sets Charlie as the current distinct ID in the SDK, and it will be used for events tracking from this point onwards. Besides that, the identify call also initiates the merge of Charlie's user ID and the anonymous ID generated earlier into one identity cluster. This ensures that the pre and post registration events are linked to the same user on next panel. On day two, Charlie install your apps on his phone. On his first app launch, Mixpanel SDK creates another random distinct ID for events tracking. At this point, Charlie events are linked to two different users on Mixpanel. His web events are linked to Charlie, whereas his mobile events are linked to an anonymous user. This is not ideal because you can't analyze Charlie behaviors effectively when his events are split among two users. But don't worry, we can fix this with ID merge. Let's see what happens next. Charlie proceeds to log in on the app. This is when you should call mixpanel.identifyCharlie. With this, he started sending events with Charlie as the distinct ID. The identify call also merges Charlie existing ID cluster and the anonymous ID together. So, by calling mixpanel identify methods when Charlie is registered and lock in, all the distinct ID that Charlie use across different platforms sit in the same identity cluster now. And as a result of this, all the events triggered by him are retroactively linked to Charlie Profile Mix Panel now.